Hello and thank you for watching this instructional video for the DDM-181 Auto Ranging Pocket Size Digital Multimeter. Let's take a look at the features of the meter. The meter comes with a set of attached test leads that snap in and are stored on the right side of the meter. When you're ready to use the meter, simply detach and unwind the leads from the side of the meter and you're ready to measure. To measure voltage, turn the rotary switch to the first position. The default mode is DC voltage. If you need to switch to AC voltage, press the select button and the meter will switch to AC voltage. To switch back, press select again. Connect the leads to your circuit and the display will show the measured voltage. For measuring resistance, turn the rotary switch to the second position from off. Notice the ohm symbol in the bottom right corner of the display, indicating the meter is in resistance mode. Connect the leads to the circuit under test to measure its resistance. The next modes are diode and continuity. Turn the rotary switch to the third position. The default mode is diode mode, indicated by the diode symbol in the upper right corner of the display. Connect the red lead to the anode and the black lead to the cathode of the diode under test to measure its forward bias voltage drop. If you press select while in diode mode, you'll switch to continuity mode, indicated by the continuity symbol in the upper right of the display. Once you connect the leads to the circuit, the measured resistance will be shown on the display. If the measured resistance is less than 50 ohms, the meter's buzzer will sound. The next measurement is frequency. Turn the rotary switch to the hertz position. The hertz symbol appears in the lower right corner indicating you are in frequency mode. Connect the leads to the circuit to measure its frequency. Remember, frequency measurement can only be made on AC circuits. Now let's measure capacitance. Turn the rotary switch to the capacitance position shown here. The farad symbol appears on the right side of the display, indicating you are in capacitance mode. Connect the leads to the circuit to measure capacitance. The final mode is current. Move the rotary switch to the last position. The default mode is DC current. As with voltage, to switch to AC current, press the select button. Press select again to switch back to DC current. Connect the leads in series to the circuit under test to measure current. One last function of the meter is the data hold function. In any mode, press the hold button to keep the current reading on the display. Press the button again to return the display to normal. Thank you for watching this instructional video for the DDM-181. For more information on this and all our other products, visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.